All right, season 20 is finally here. We can finally look at how the units actually ended up. So let's go ahead and take a look at slingers to start with. So let me open my barracks here. I've now maxed out these slingers. So let's take a look where their stats ended up. They're a little bit different than what was coming out of PTR, but I think overall my thoughts on these guys have not changed too much. So to start with their characteristics, obviously they have reduced leadership in the current season. They have a sling master ability, so their normal attacks have a chance to stun enemy units. They only have one uh, loose formation here, and then they still have these three main abilities, which I'll go over in a sec. Let's go ahead and take a look at their veterancy. They have a, just one line of veterancy. They just have basic damage increases, uh, increased block break, uh, and increase in the ammo regen from their ability. So pretty basic stuff there, nothing crazy. Uh, let's look at their doctrines. Their one special doc doctrine gives them a 50% increased chance to stun enemy units. So that's pretty good. You're definitely going to want to be using that. I've been using this leadership doctrine on them, which gets them down to 84 leadership, down from 100. So that's pretty good as well, at least for the current season, if you want to try them out. But let's look at their attributes. So this has changed a little bit from the PTR. So they now are 100 leadership, which is up a little bit. They got nerfed quite a bit going into the live release of this season. I'm not totally sure why, to be honest. I still feel like they're just not amazing. It's just kind of weird to me that everyone thought these guys should get nerfed. I just don't think they're very good still. But let's look at their stats. Um, I think their health got bumped a little bit, if I remember correctly. They're not. At, they're now at 3,000, as you can see here. This is a little bit more than units like Nomcons and Rattans, but less than units like Janissaries and Zikalian Militia. Their strength has been reduced, so they're now not a massive unit like they used to be. Uh, so they're now down to 28 unit count, which is less than Nomcons. It's actually the exact same as Rattan Marksman, and obviously more than other units like Zikalian Militia. Their leadership is 100, like I mentioned. Their speed is pretty fast. They're as fast as the Calling Militia. They're faster than most other ranged units in their tier. Range is 60, so that is less than Archers. Uh, actually the same as Janissaries, but Janissaries do have a pretty good range. I don't know how this compares to all the other units, obviously, more than those guys. So yeah, I mean, decent range, a little bit less than Archers, basically the same as a firearm, actually. Uh, ammo is 400. It, it's hard to compare this because they can just pick up a, pick up ammo off the ground, so you're, you don't really have to worry about their ammo at all. Their blunt armor pin is decent. I wouldn't say this is great. 1500 armor blunt armor pin and 1400 blunt damage. That compares. It's a lot less than a Janissary, for example, in that and their piercing damage. It's about half of a Janissary's damage, but that is piercing um, compared to piercing damage of archers. It's so they're basically on par with an archer as far as their damage goes. It is blunt damage, obviously, so it's better against shields. I still think they need to buff the blunt damage. I just feel like it does not do enough damage to units. Um, I'll show off some gameplay in a sec, but it just still feels kind of weak. It doesn't even feel like it can really get through shields. Uh, but yeah, that's all the unit attributes I think I wanted to go over here. So let's go ahead and jump into their abilities. Actually, real quick before I go over their abilities, I do just want to make a quick shout out on their doctrines. So these guys are classified as a special ranged infantry. So importantly, they're not going to be able to use your normal doctrines for archer, crossbow, or firearm units. So what I've been doing, I've been using the hero damage and the unit damage doctrines here. Uh, you can also use blunt damage doctrines, so those three will probably be your best bets for doctrines if you have those. Unfortunately, I don't really have very good doctrines for these guys. That's probably part of the reason I haven't been having that much success with them. So if you have the purple damage doctrines for units and good blunt damage doctrines, that will probably help these guys quite a bit. But yeah, now let's go ahead and look at their abilities. All right, for the Slinger abilities, they have three main abilities. Their first is a normal area attack where you can choose where you want them to attack. They obviously can just hit V to attack normally. And then their two ability will be a frontal cone with a short windup that deals a lot of damage at close range. So you can see how well they're doing against these squires here. I'm gonna just gonna hit V on them so they can take out the rest of these guys and then show off their last ability here. So let me just try to kill these guys off real quick. So you can see they do okay at taking guys out even in close range. So let's take this last guy out. Now I can hit three. Three is their last ability. You can see they pick up rocks from the ground and that will reach in their ammo over time. So you're basically never gonna run out of ammo with these guys. You can just pick up rocks anywhere on the battlefield and you're just gonna have unlimited ammo with these guys, which is pretty nice. So you can see their damage here against shields and how much damage they do, let's see. So it looked like about 2,000 per hit. I've seen them go normally up to like 3,000 per hit at the absolute maximum. So that's kind of the damage you can expect from them. But yeah, so that's the three abilities. Let's go ahead and hop into some gameplay with these guys so you can see them in action. 
All right, so we pulled our slingers out here. We're on frontier camp here. This is definitely not the ideal map for them, but we're gonna try them out anyways. The ideal map, you really wanna have them on a big castle map. They're better at holding choke points where they can just you know, sling rocks into shields and there's not too much counterplay against them. Um, but the, even in blue lock there, they can get taken out by other ranged units a lot of the time or just muskets and things like that. All right, I'm gonna want to try to hit him with the two ability, these calves. And I'm also gonna put down my caltrops here so they can't get to me. So you see they did decent damage with that uh, two ability, but most of the time they're only hitting like 1500s. I'm gonna try to take out these shields. So you can see a lot of their attacks still get blocked. They just don't have enough damage to get through still most of the time. Let's use our two ability again. We hit a lot of 1000s. I'm just gonna let them keep attacking here. Pick up some ammo real quick before the enemies come back in. Try to stop this cab charge from hitting them. So you can see they're doing okay. It's just it's just not great. Um, their damage is just kind of mediocre. Let's see what they do here. Uh, looks like they didn't sling that time for some reason. Not sure what happened there. I'm gonna move them up a little bit here. See if they can do better. You can sometimes snipe off heroes. Uh, you see like some musket or something just completely wiped my unit essentially do some damage with my two ability again. See, I hit like 2600 in the back of those cav with my two ability, so it's okay. But you can see they're pretty squishy. Now my whole unit's pretty much dead just from random hero units, archers, things like that. So that's kind of what you can expect from them. They can do okay in like narrow choke points, like gatehouses, things like that. But in normal battles, I just, I don't know, they just don't do very good. They just die too fast. They just don't do enough damage to make it really seem like it's worth it a lot of the time. Um, but yeah, and died to scout cab there. But yeah, that's kind of what I would expect from slingers. Overall, I just find them not very impactful. Even at the 100 leadership, well, even at 85 leadership, was, which is what I have them at now with the leadership doctrine, I just feel like they don't have that big of an impact on the game. You can see how much damage they were doing. They were doing, you know, okay, just okay damage. But most of their attacks still get blocked by the shields, which is kind of strange because their whole point is blunt damage, right? And they can't even get through Iron Cap Spearman's shields very well, even with their two ability. So I'm not really sure what the point of them is then. You know, I thought with them having blunt damage, they'd be able to get through shields, and it just doesn't seem like they can even get through Iron Cap Spearman shields. They probably have pretty pretty good doctrines on those guys, but regardless. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what you can expect them. I'm going to leave in the rest of this game and have some commentary over it if you want to stick around. Um, but if not, that's fine too. Thanks for watching. Um, that's the Slinger overview. Let me know what you guys think about him in the comments below. And if you want to stick around and watch the rest of this game, feel free to do that as well. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Alright, let's see if we can win this, even with our Slingers dying out there. Got my rat time marksman out. I don't even know who I killed there, just some random guy. I I'm gonna see if I wanna treb this guy. I'm gonna treb him out of that tower. He's gonna kill my rotans if I don't. And it's just funny, so I wanna see him fall out. Let's see if it gets him. Oh come on. One more hit. There we go. <laughs> okay, that was kind of anticlimactic to be honest. Um, unfortunately it's gonna be hard to go kill him, but at least we took A. I'm gonna go put my guys, I don't want them to get sniped by this guy, so I'm gonna put him back in their supply. I'm gonna try to go either take B, I either wanna take B, ideally I wanna get to supply and take out a new unit, oh okay, I just brought ranged units, whoops. I'm cosplaying as an EU player I guess, but luckily our team is taking home while I'm over here, so I'm just gonna keep doing this I guess, and just distract them hopefully for our team. Um, looks like we're just gonna win off that. Alright, well, easy game. I guess Slingers did something. Not very much, but, uh, <laughs> you know, they did okay. I got, let's see how many kills. They got 152 troops score, 15 kills. So, yeah, not great, but you can kind of get a sense of what they're all about from that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed uh, my Slinger overview in that game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys out there. Actually, I lied. I'm going to do one more game for you guys here. I've upgraded their doctrines. I really want these guys to work, so I put much better doctrines on them. So I'll show you what I put on them here. Still have the Leadership Doctrine and the Apollo's Fury Doctrine, but what I upgraded was the Unit Damage Doctrine 1 so that they have the best Unit Damage Doctrine that I have available. I also put on an Epic Combat Doctrine. It was one of the few doctrines I found that I could put on special 
uh, units here, so I'm going to try this one out. I don't know that it would be great on these guys, but I'm just kind of curious. So this one is every three attacks, the next attack's damage will be increased by 11%. Every six attacks, 15% max health will be, will be restored. And every nine attacks, a 2.5 second control immunity effect is granted. So mainly just in it for the every three attack attack damage buff. The other ones I don't think will have much of an impact, but just want the damage here. And then I gave them a Health and Piercing Defense Doctrine 4, whereas before I just had the blue one. So they should be a little bit tankier to straight arrows and things like that. All right, so I've put on much better Doctrines. Let's see how we get on with them now. All right, we now have the Slingers back out on Dasuo Fort. We're attacking. We just landed this tower here. So I'm going to take them up this side and see if I can rain some rocks down onto the A point here. Hopefully... I don't get picked off. I do need to watch out for those arches in the back. I already used my treb, so that's a little bit unfortunate there. I'm just gonna hope that they don't pick me off. That would be quite unfortunate. I'm actually curious if this will hit these guys. It looks like it does not. Let's see how much damage these rocks are doing now. 600. Oh, I did kill a guy. Wow, okay. Definitely better than they were doing before, for sure. Um, still only hit like 800 on that hero, though. Um, but let's keep trying them out. I do want to- I want to try them against those shields over there. I just- I just feel like they don't do that much damage to shields. I'm not totally sure why. Let's see how much they can do. They're still blocking a lot of them. Let me try my two ability, if it even reaches over there. Most of them didn't reach, but I did see one 3,000 hit over there. Yeah, 2,000 is kind of like the max we're getting. I'm just going to go ahead and throw my bomb over here on these guys. Should do a lot of damage. Nice. And then I'll keep attacking with my slingers here. Still just not doing like crazy amounts of damage with them here. I do have to watch out for this guy. He's going to be a problem. I'm going to regen my ammo so I can make sure I'm able to take this guy out. Not gonna chase him. Not very good at chasing. I will see if I can hit these rattan marksmen with them though. Kind of curious about their ability to hit people this far out. Let's see if I can uh, hit him here from back there. I am getting a few hits. Not very many though. I mean, they're not super accurate either. So we did. We were able to take the A point from that push though. So, as soon as we wipe out these archers, I'm going to pull these guys up. I want to see if they can fling down, uh, sling their rocks down off of this area over here. So I'm just going to make sure the ghost is clear over here, get their ammo back, and then I'm going to bring them over here as soon as possible. Just make sure they're not going to be able to get killed by any enemy heroes over here. I want to see if they can sling down, actually let me test this first. I want to see if they can sling down this bridge, because I know Rattan Marksman can shoot down from here. I'm curious if the slingers can shoot down from here as well, so let's see. Let me bring him over here. All right, I'm just going to hit V first, see if they even attack. It does look like they attack. Again, not very accurate. It looks, I think I saw 3,000 hit, but he has light armor. Um, doesn't look like they can really make it under there though. Let's see if I... Yeah, not really. Alright, that's okay. Let me try over here. It does look like they can sling down a little bit. So I want to try right here, actually. See how they do. First, I'm just going to test if they can throw like straight down. Uh, yeah, it looks like they can actually throw like pretty straight down. Not exactly straight down, but it's not too bad. I'm going to see if I can hit these guys over here. Nice. I actually got a 4,500 hit on that cav. So that's not too bad. Um, those guys are going to get in cover. Let me see if I can hit the guys all the way over there in supply. Oh shit, watch out for that mortar. Okay, luckily. You know what, I'm going to see if I can take the mortar out with these guys actually, because I know in the PTR you could destroy artillery with them. I'm not sure if that was a bug, if they fixed it. Let's see. It looks like they are doing damage to it. Oh yeah, we actually killed the mortar with them. That's... That's actually crazy. That's a pretty good use case for him. I definitely need to take out this cannon before it can kill me, though. Hopefully they can hit it a few times here. Come on, guys. You got it. Come on. One more hit, probably. Oh. Gotta kill this guy. Hold on.
Unfortunately, I ran out of ammo as soon as this guy was coming up here. Let's see if I can stop him, though. This will be kind of an interesting test for them against uh, Iron Cap Spearmen up close. Let's see if I throw, do my rock throw ability. Kind of missed a lot of them there, which is kind of interesting. Let me go back to this cannon. I do want to take this cannon out. That is a pretty nice use case for him, taking out artillery. There we go. They got another artillery. So they still can take out artillery. That is pretty interesting. Let's see how far their rock throw can go here. Sometimes with projectiles at that range, they just phase out. It looks like those kind of phase out as well. So you can't throw them that far. Let's see if I can hit them all the way at supply, though. Since I'm up high, usually projectiles can go farther than their stated range. Yeah, it looks like rocks can go pretty far, like almost to that little wooden barricade over there. Um, but yeah, they're just really not accurate at that range. They just don't do that much damage. I'm going to try the rock throw again. Oh, shoot. Let me try to kill this guy. Hold on. Alright, nice. Got that guy down. It did look like it annoyed them enough to come up here. I don't know if that was the slingers or just the archers in general. But it did annoy them enough to get some Hirakas out of it, so that's something, I guess. Let me see if I can rock throw... It doesn't look like I can even trigger the rock throw on these guys all the way over there. Um, let's see. <clears throat> let's see if there's anyone else I can take out here. I'll try to kill these guys. I kind of want Glaive for the damage buff right now. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, I can hit those guys. Try my two ability again, see if it can make it. No, it just looks like it kind of phases out over there. I will try to hit him though. The nice thing though is these guys have infinite ammo, so I can just sit here like all day along with these guys. So that's kind of nice. Let me just reposition a little bit. I want to try to hit these guys down there. See if I can get him. Nah, I didn't really hit him. It's kind of hard to target the two ability unless they're um, at the same level as you. So that's something you gotta keep in mind. Maybe I can do good damage to these guys though here. Yeah, let's see. Oh, that did some good damage there actually. It's just, it's very concentrated. The two ability almost seems like it's better for like picking off heroes and stuff. So I've picked up about 30 kills with these guys. I definitely feel like they're doing a lot more damage now. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I'd say a lot more, but they're definitely doing more damage now of course. But still, like, 30 kills, like, if I was sitting up here with Rattan Marksman, I would probably be at, like, 50 or 60 kills, I feel like. So, their infinite ammo is pretty nice for doing this, but outside of that, I just don't feel like they're as good as other ranged options that you can bring. I was gonna see if I could pick up the hero with my 2 ability, but it didn't really get a chance to. Well, I'm just gonna leave him on fire at will while I go uh, down here a bit. But yeah, I think we've seen kind of enough of them this game to get a good idea of how the new doctrines play out. Um, they're definitely better. I just still feel like, I don't know, they're just still a little underwhelming. Let me see if I can get out of this. I went a little too deep here. Probably gonna die. I will try to maybe pick off this hero. Let's see if this works. No, see, I can't even pick off the hero with that two ability. It's just too hard to target it. But yeah, that's kind of what you expect with Slingers. Even with those new upgraded Doctrines, I still don't know that they're very good. They are pretty fun. They are really useful, actually, for taking out the artillery. Like we saw, like in this particular instance, I took out two artillery. That is actually really useful. So, I don't know. They kind of seem like maybe a niche unit to bring for certain use cases. Maybe you're destroying artillery. Maybe you're just trying to stun enemy heroes. So they're, they almost seem like more of a support unit than anything else. So maybe if you want that to destroy artillery with them or to just daze enemies or stun enemies with their normal tech, maybe that's really what they're supposed to be used for. Uh, supposed to be used for, rather. But other than that, um, I don't know. They're just not a very high damage unit. I guess that's the best way to put it. Even against shields, which seems like what they should be good against. Uh, they're just not really getting through the block of those shields. They're just not that great. I feel like even Rattans are better against shields because at least when they do get through, they have that poison stacking up on them. So they'll do damage over time to the shield units. So yeah, kind of still meh on these guys. I feel like they designed them more as a support unit. I just don't know that even as a support unit that they're very good. 
So I don't know. Try them out yourselves. Let me know what you think. Wow, that did a ton of damage there. That was crazy. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have some better doctrines or some way that you've learned how to use them. But that's kind of my first impression so far. And I don't really expect that to change unless they just give them a lot more damage. Like, if they gave him, you know, 3,000 blunt armor pin and 3,000 blunt damage, then I think they could actually be a high DPS unit that would be good versus shields. But if not, I think they're just going to be relegated to a kind of crappy support unit. So we'll have to see. But yeah, okay, for real this time, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you out on the battlefield.